God, please, no! What's happening, everyone? Uh, back again for another video. Uh, took it easy over the weekend, just with St. Patrick's Day, and my brother was getting married, so um, it was a relaxing weekend, but you've seen it in the scales there today. The weight has definitely shot up a couple of pints, and a bit of bad food did not help the situation, but we're back on track here today, so um, I actually don't have anybody in this morning, which is nice getting a, a kind of morning off. Doing a wee bit of work here now. Um, and we also have a match tonight, so I'm going to take you through, I'm going to take you through the day of eating um, for the match. And uh, it's an evening game, which, you know, slightly different than a few other games have been in the morning, so I haven't been eating that much. So hopefully today will be a, an insightful one for you. Um, so yeah, uh, right now just doing a wee bit of work, just doing some social media stuff, getting stuff ready for this week. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think we'll go and get some breakfast here now, so I'll uh, get you in the next one. Okay, a bit of breakfast here. Went for some porridge, 50 grams of oats, and I've added in some uh, some strawberry protein powder as well. So give me a bit of protein on board. And then uh, I've went for a cup of coffee and a couple of wee vitamins here. So in terms of vitamins, I'll show you what I'm, what I'm working with. If I can fix this camera at any point, it's looking stupid. Okay. Um, first one, some vitamin D. It's turmeric, so one of those kind of more, it's like a wee probiotic. Um, and this one's going to be a wee bit more, wee bit more stronger than one you would get from like a Yakult or something like that. Um, so that's really the benefit of a, of a wee capsule over them. Um, and yeah, that's all the vitamins I take. I don't really take too many of them. Just take a few of them. Um, and then the only thing will be creatine, but I'll probably take that a wee bit closer to the game today. So are away for a weekend and maybe you've kind of fell off track with the diet or with the training. It's very difficult to get back on track and nearly forgetting about the last couple of days and just restart again from what you were doing before. If you have had a rough weekend, just get back on track with today. Forget about it. Um, there's plenty more days to try and rectify it. So now here is a banana. And there's a wee bit of advice here now on how pre-match meals work and what way you should think about doing them. So yeah, let's go check that out. And how you kind of organize it and how you can structure it yourself. So think about it. Think about the size of the plate you have. So giving you a visual demonstration here. So we've got three different sizes of plates here. So this is our biggest one here. And this is going to be the one you're going to have furthest out from the game. So imagine that's maybe six hours out or eight hours out. That's going to have a lot of carbs on your plate. So that's like you know, your rice, potatoes, pastas. Um, and it's going to have a good amount of protein. So that's going to be your chicken or your meat or whatever type of protein you go for. So it's going to be a kind of bigger meal, heavier in carbohydrates, heavier in protein. But because it's you're giving it a lot more time to digest, that's six or eight hours. It should be in your system, there shouldn't be any digestion issues. So that's the bigger one you're gonna have at the start of the day. Then you're gonna come on to your other plate, so let's say that's half a time from here, so that one's six hours out, this one's maybe three hours out. So it's gonna be a wee bit smaller, still a bit more heavier in carbohydrates. You're probably gonna have less protein on the plate just so that digestion becomes a wee bit easier. Um, but it's probably gonna be about half the size of the meal that you had you know, three hours prior to that. So think about it in, in halves. Um, and again, you're gonna have some carbohydrates in that plate there. And then the last meal you're gonna have, say about an hour and a half out, is gonna be smaller again here. And it's just gonna be maybe a light bee top up meal. And that could be something simple as um, maybe a banana, or it could be a wee bit of granola and a bit of yogurt or something like that. But that meal is really just topping you up so you're not feeling hungry and it's gonna be food that's gonna be digested easily in you as well. So when you're thinking about food that's gonna be digested easily, that's gonna be um, liquid food. So like yogurts, Lucozades, smoothies, they'll all get into your system quicker than big meals. So that's the final meal. So just again to recap, six or eight hours out, bigger meal, three hours out, it's gonna be a smaller meal but you're still gonna have a good amount of carbs in your plates and just a small amount of protein. Half out. An hour and a half out is gonna be a small meal, just really top you up, make sure. For tonight, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this during work. Um, and yeah, it'll be my last meal before before the game. I'm gonna, okay, go on one banana. Last 
Go on 150 grams of strawberries. Go 50 grams of blueberries. Fruit's a really good one in terms of uh, you know pre-match because it's got loads of sugars in it. Um, it gets into the systems pretty well and it tastes nice, so it's a good one to throw in. 40 grams of oats. Forty grams of oats. I'm going to put in a scoop of protein now, and then I'm going to put in about 300 ml of water. Um, it's going to be quite a lot of calories in that, so I'll take that about uh, two hours, maybe three hours before the game. So I'll probably take it around six o'clock. The game's at eight. I'm going to get another meal here now down at the bakery, and uh, we'll get this thing all ready for tonight. Takes time, just. So back in. Uh, Back in the HQ here, um, just had a bit of lunch there. Went for a chicken salad and a uh, bit of bacon through it, and then had some some bread along with it, some sourdough, the ultimate bread. Um, working today is three three big meals, and then just a couple of wee snacks in between. So um, no, I'm just fucking. <laughs> um, I'll not be too useless in the game tonight, but only time will tell. Last meal, some uh, rice and some mints here, um, post game. So yeah, that's a uh, game all done, we ended up winning that game. Um, only played the second half because I was coming down late from work. Tough trying to balance everything, it's very stressful. Um, but I came on, thought I played well enough, so I was happy enough. Like, um, But yeah, that was the kind of match day day today, and like in an ideal world, you would give it maybe more time, need a bit more, but that was just the way it was for me with work which I'm sure it is the way with a lot of ones who are watching, it's, it's difficult to get meals in. Um, but I felt pretty good in the game there, so I was happy enough with it. They trying to manage it all, getting in for games and between work and all, like it is a stress and it's annoying whenever you don't get playing as well because of work, but at the same time, if you weren't working, you'd be annoyed too. So it's it's tough trying to manage it all, like, but um, we're getting there one way or another. So. Look, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. If you can share it or like the videos, it is very much appreciated. Um, so yeah, see you in the next one.